doing so what we're doing here is a beautiful kitchen and we're starting with the floor so we have vinyl on the floor from the previous one as you can see in the corner edges there and uh, we're gonna go straight right over the one vinyl with the wonder board we're using a wonder board light which is at our fake Home Depot it's only uh, a little less than 10 bucks and this is the corner wrench it's lighter and we're gonna see how that works and uh, so we're putting, laying it down now and then we're going to put the uh, tape and the thin set the joints and after that we're going to use our thin set and put our beautiful tile 12 by 24 which we'll, we'll do a video as we go along as we uh, rehab our and we'll show you that after this uh, after this one's done we're first time flippers okay so here we are just like we promised. The wonder board light is all down, cut. We got our mesh tape on there. Next is the thin set. Put it on the mesh tape and the joints. And then we are uh, gonna be able to uh, put our beautiful tile now, 12 by 24. It's all screwed down. And uh, this kitchen is gonna be nice afterwards. So that, that is our second stage, folks. And we'll be back with the third if stage. You, if you look down, I just want to point a couple of pointers out that we used, uh, I'll show you here, we used these rock arms. Now this floor here is a quarter inch wonder board, so we want a one and a quarter, but we had these one and five eighths left over for the half inch board. So I recommend um, the one and a quarter since it's, it's uh, the wonder board is a quarter inch. So you go at least one inch, depending on your needs. You do whatever the, you have to do. And um, this is what we used. And when you do this, you want to look and make sure that at your seams, these wonder boards, they have um, dots here. And you can see the dots and they tell you where, where to put those screws. And your most important part is going to be right at the seam. So you want to make sure you put it in every dot there. And you want to make sure that this floor doesn't flex where there's no bubble spot and you make sure you fortify it. Sometimes you will have to buy a bunch of boxes of these uh, screws because there's so many, but you can uh, look on the manufacturer's recommendation if you uh, want. What we do is we go for the high traffic areas and really, really use every dot. Then afterwards, we go a little lighter in sections we know it's not gonna be a lot of traffic area. Just so, a disclaimer, uh, we are not professional. <laughs> This is just just for informational purposes only and to show how we're doing it and however you're gonna do it is what you do. This is just the way we're doing it and just our experiences. Till the next video. All right, this is the next step. We have taped all the seams here. This is the tile we're actually going to be using. This is the kitchen we're doing. So we taped all the seams. This was the stuff that we used. That, and that's what we're gonna use to lay the tile also. Uh, Versa board. Professional thin set mortar. That is what we're using. Number two, set. And I'll show you when we are a little further along in stages. That's it for now. Good morning. Till the next time.